What's going on, boys and girls? We're going to do a really simple recipe today. We're going to do some pan-seared cobia. It's going to be a nice, uh, quick recipe. Cobia is a hearty fish. Um, you can cook it on the grill. You can cook it on the stove. Um, it's got a nice buttery flavor. So just kind of watch it here, guys, and try it if you like it. All right, this is a very simple recipe. Of course, we're going to start with two pieces of, of cobia here. Um, we're only going to season it with um, some... Himalayan sea salt or some Himalayan salt and some white pepper, but we're going to also make a little buttery um, This is some melted butter with some rosemary basil and thyme here that we're going to put in there to go on the fish after It's done cooking. So let's cook it Alrighty now I have put a little cooking spray on this you don't have to do that part, but I found that it works real well We're just going to take a little bit of salt here Just kind of lightly salt it on both sides. And the same thing with the pepper. Again, with white pepper, it's a little bit stronger than in your black pepper. And then once we, we'll start off with this side right here first. And then when we flip it, um, we'll season the other side. Now we've got a pan heating up on the stove. Um, we're just using some ghee. You can use olive oil. You can use avocado oil we're going to mix up our our um butter here that's about a half a teaspoon of basil half a teaspoon of rosemary and about the same amount of thyme here that rosemary really gives it a really good flavor and about the same thing with the thyme if i can put the lid back on and we're just going to mix this all in guys get it all stirred up and this is what we're going to spread over the fish now you could add a little bit of lemon juice to this as well too and that'll the lemon will help to bring out the flavor all righty we're going to go about three minutes per side so we're going to lay that side down there we'll lay that side down now that was the the inside side this is the skin side here and again we're going to put some um some of our salt and pepper on this side so we got our salt and pepper on that side lightly salted and a little bit of um a little bit of th that pepper up there that that white pepper really gives it a little kick all righty after about three minutes we're gonna flip this now when you see it cooking this way because this part is so this part is so thick and this part is so thin i'll usually add a lid to it let's get the spatula here I tell you, y'all, I have some of the hardest time flipping these things sometimes. <laughs> Just a mess. All right, another three minutes or so. And actually, now that I flipped it, it, it actually looks pretty good, so we may not need a lid. Yeah, I decided to put a lid on it just to let it cook the rest of the way, just so that it will cook through and through. All righty, after about three minutes or so, get it just cooked through and through. We're going to move it to the plate and get ready to eat. All right, let's plate these up here. Put this one here. I'll take the bad looking one here. Got one there. Got a nice little crust. Okay, sometimes you can buy these fish and they'll have a skin on them too, guys. And that skin really fries down real good. All right. Okay, while it's still nice and hot, we're going to take some of our butter here, put it on both pieces, and let that stuff spread. This is going to just give it added flavor, y'all. Do it on both pieces. Just give it a time to spread here. Now you can put more or less up there if you want to. It's totally up to you. Oops. All right, see how that butter melted down on that fish, guys? So 
going to be good. You can have it with some hot sauce, some tartar sauce. This is broccolini, and we're going to eat some lunch. Really quick and simple recipe. You guys have a nice Saturday. Peace.